Hi friends, it's Nancy. And I thought I'd turn on the camera while I did a little craft. Um, so my husband bought a new jacket the other night when we were at Costco. And I thought, this is kind of cool. So it has an outer cover and then um, these other three cards inside that describe all the features of the jacket. And I thought, I can make something out of that. So um, I got all my... Um, collage kind of neutral papers here. Just grab a handful and we'll get started. So this isn't anything that you haven't seen before. I thought we'd have a little visit anyway. So uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference if I put the glue on the front or the back. I don't know. Um, Yes, I had a good day yesterday. I got to see a client for the first time since the shutdown. It was very exciting. I actually got to do real social work. And I think I actually helped a couple of people, so that was good. I feel like I maybe haven't lost it. <laughs> there was a few extra steps though. Um, so I had to go through a, uh, a checklist, you know, have you been out of the province in the last 14 days? Have you got a cough, fever, blah, 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 yada, yada. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then um, a consent to release information if it's determined later that we did have an exposure. So, and then um, I had to remember I have to remember this, not to clean the keyboard until after I remove my laptop from the docking station because <laughs> you will break it. <laughs> so thankfully there was a young person there who could fix it for me. tear that in half. Don't want to waste it. So I just keep a box of, you know, interesting book pages, um, you know, and then when I need them, I can just grab them. Um, I actually have a shelf underneath my desk. This is all recipes. This is an index from a very old cookbook. I'm just deciding what side I like better. This one's got better stuff, I think. So I do have to go to work this morning. I should be getting ready to go to work. So I might have to come back and finish this when I come home tonight. But I was in here. Me and the cat were in here. He laughed. <laughs> uh, poor.
poor old Gibby. Remember how he was so sick after um, the lockdown started and he was throwing up all over the house and I took him to the vet and everything and there was nothing wrong with him. He's been a lot better. Um, I don't think he's been sick since since we came home from our little getaway. So that's good news. Maybe he just needed a break from us. <laughs> My son's taking a week of vacation next week. I said, are you going anywhere? He said, no, I'm just having a staycation. And I said, well, I, I'll go somewhere if you want to go somewhere. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> Poor me. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to cut these off. On the jacket, the the tag was held together with like a little elastic band thing. Um, and I was looking at this and thinking, okay, how, oh, I'm cutting the tag, come on. Um, and I thought, oh, I could either use a big jump ring and then I thought, no, I'm going to use a bulb pin to hold this all together. And I know this isn't very exciting, but, you know, maybe just a reminder to look at everything with a critical eye and explore the possibilities. about taking a course that starts next month um, mm. oh my gosh the name of it escapes me right now huh oh dear Acceptance and commitment th therapy. That's what it is. Not that I do therapy, but I definitely use therapeutic techniques. In my work, I think I've said before, there's no way I could do therapy because <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, me too. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'd be no good at it. It's important to know one's strengths. I will be doing some ink on this because it definitely needs good. It's gonna need some ink.
I've got the window open so you might be able to hear the birds and I live next to not next to but very close to a parking lot um, and sometimes when workers are arriving they're very loud we were outside the other night and uh, there's a couple guys in the parking lot yelling at each other Oh, there's only one more in stock, blah, blah, yeah, yeah. And I said to my son, I just sometimes want to scream, shut up. <laughs> like, really, this is a residential area. There's no need for you to be screaming like that all the time. To, uh, this is something that just happened this week. Um, our neighbors just next door, they, they've they both pr recently passed away. Um, I think she died two years ago and he died in November. Um, and um, the... the That somebody, I don't know who, has put up a bench right next to where they lived and put a little plaque on it saying something to the effect of, you know, in memory of longtime neighbors, Barry and Harriet. It's nice. I mean, they laid concrete first and did a good job. So that was nice. I'm thinking the city must have done it because um, they actually purchased the property in case they need to expand their parking lot. <laughs> but I think they had lived in that house like 50, 60 years, something like that. Trim off the edge this time. Yeah, so I gotta take a look at that course. Maybe I'll sign up today. And I get a discount, I think. Um, I get uh, credits at the university because I've um, hosted practicum students. So I think I get like $100 every student or something. I don't know that I've ever used it. Maybe once. Maybe once. I took a course on evaluation, I think, program evaluation. Use my crop dial to pop that hole back in.
Just a little piece lifted up there, so I'm going to do something like that. I think I must have scratched it with the um, drop dial. Right. Another little scratch there, but I okay, ink. I was up at oh, four this morning. <sighs> four thirty, maybe. I'm not a good sleeper. I wish I was. And I've taken sleeping pills for oh well over a decade and a couple of times I've tried to wean off of them and currently I'm in the process of weaning off of them because apparently it will give me Alzheimer's or something I don't know Although I feel like I have Alzheimer's when I don't sleep. <laughs> oh, well. Looks like I missed a little bit. Can't have that. Oh, sorry. going the wrong way, aren't I? Better glue you down again. Yeah, that's the 
way that goes. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same process to these three pieces, but I'm going to go put pants on and go to work. So I will come back and um, once I, I'll turn the camera back on after I have collaged the other three pieces and then we'll look at decorating. All right, see you soon. All right, so I'm home from work um, and I, I did manage to get all of the pages, both sides, all uh, collaged with book paper and inked up and I think we'll start to do some decorating. So um, I have these old book pages that were in my uh, box of stuff for collage and I thought well let's make some places to uh, do some journaling. So I'll start off by making a rough edge and we'll go from there. Absolutely beautiful outside today. No one can complain. Got the windows open, it's not too hot. Birds are singing. Um, I told you about my freezer. Well, now the fridge isn't working. Um, and I think maybe the fridge hasn't been working properly for some time because uh, the last, we don't go through a lot of milk. Um, Doug is lactose intolerant and I only put milk in my tea. Um, so the last two quarts of milk I've purchased have gone sour. So uh, I, I think I want these to be about two and a two and a quarter, two and an eighth. It's about two and an eighth right there. Oh, that's going to be just smashing. So I and he put a thermometer in there last night, and he said, um, like it's just mm, into the danger zone. So I don't know why we're not dead yet, because apparently <laughs> it's been like this for a while. But last night he moved all of the stuff over that was in the fridge into the freezer, because the freezer's still cold. It just doesn't freeze. So, um, and then this morning, Doug went out and bought a new fridge. So it's being delivered well, he, he said it, they can deliver it this afternoon. I said, well, I'm not going to be home. You're not going to be home. They'll have to bring it in the morning. So we'll live till morning. But what a rigmarole. And you know, <sighs> fridges... You're, you're not comparing apples and oranges with fridges. And there's a lot of factors that can go into making it a very expensive fridge. So, uh, like right now we have the double doors, but that jacks up the price. Um, so I'm not... Uh, I'm not concerned with how it looks because, like I said, we're in a rental. Um, I just and it's just the two of us, so we don't need a huge fridge. So, but I wanted a decent size freezer because we do, we do store some stuff in the freezer, right? God, there feels like a lot of pages, isn't there? Um. But some fridges, wow, they can be thousands and thousands of dollars. Unbelievable. I'd sooner go on a vacation than spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a fridge. But 
an investment. And I remember seeing a program not too long ago that talked about how um, appliances like refrigerators are built to become obsolete. So, oh, sorry, did my hair get in there? Um, so that they can't be repaired. Um, that's sad, isn't it? So, um, we went to the same, um, place that we've gone for our last, uh, last couple of appliances we got a I think we got a washer was our last replacement and before that the uh, the stove the oven so and we are very happy with that um, that shop a local mom and pop kind of thing you know bring, and they have a little room to wheel and deal Whereas, you know, the big box stores. Oh, I gotta talk to my manager. So, and they agreed to take the old one away and deliver the new one at no cost. So, that's good. Okay. Um, oh, I might as well glue them down first before we go any further, right? Might as well. nice to use this paper up. I mean, it matches really nicely, right? I wish I hadn't put that pin in, though. That's a bit of a pain. There we go. It's almost a shame to cover up all this stuff, but it had to be covered up because it was black underneath, right? That would have shown right through. Had to be done. And you know, one thing I'm never going to run out of? Book page. That's one thing. I hummed and hawed about what to do for writing, and I thought, oh, I'll rip up some ledger or something. Nope. I like this. Seems to work for me.
Whoops. Something funny happened today. A colleague that used to work with me, he's, he now works at a, another social service agency. Um, he sent me a message on Facebook Messenger. Hey, I need some support for a multi-generational family. <laughs> um, parents, parents, grandparents, and a 10-year-old. And I, and I said, okay. <laughs> and then he sent me a group photo that was taken in 1930 <laughs> of his family before they immigrated from Portugal. <laughs> It was so cute. But he does want to come darken my door because he does have two clients he's working with that could use some of our, our brand to help. Is this going to come off? I better come off because it's not centered anymore. There we go. Still, still sticky, but we'll just give it another, another lick of stick. Now, why won't you stay? My glue's plugged. Okay, let's see if that gives us some more wear. I could put some washi tape on there, but I have a feeling washi tape would bend and flop up as well. Let's just see if this our glitter glue helps. All right, now we want to do the cover. Um, mum, mum, mum. So I've got some fussy cuts here. I either want blue or red, I'm not sure. And I gotta find a bird that's small enough to fit on there. What about you? Oh yeah, you're good. You have blue and red. Um, well, it's actually more of an orange, isn't it? Uh, let's let's try a blue. Gosh, I got a lot more stamps here than I thought I did. I thought I was running out. I got stamps. Oh my.
Okay, I'm going to go with that. I'm okay with that. Um, now I would like... I'd like some kind of flower. I don't know if I have anything. I like that bird better. No, oh, he's too small. All right, little birds. I'm going to move you. You're on my deck. Oh, <laughs> it's gluey there. <laughs> okay. Now I have a little bit of um, tea bag. So I'll just tear a piece of that first. So it's sprinkled up and that's okay. I'm not sure that the wrinkles are showing up all that well right now, but with a little bit of ink, We'll just get things textured right up. And I'll just ink up my bird. This white part. If I was smart, I'd get my exacto knife out. 
Yeah. If I was smart, I'd get my glass cutting mat. Let's not just go that far. I didn't do any sewing this time and no lace. This glue still isn't running. Come on, you. glue. How's a bird supposed to stick around? my scissors after this. I got all kinds of yuck on it. Okay. Maybe I'll just do part of a stamp. Maybe I do want a flower. I'm going to pause while I look for some flowers. 
think I got a couple of different ones. I think I'm going to just put some flowers down in this corner. Ugh. Every once in a while, I guess you gotta <laughs> pull off the nozzle and get a good clean. Whoops. Okay. Hopefully that will fix whatever is ailing it. some more on the other side. Hear the chickadees out there maybe? I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. Oh yeah, that's running a lot better now, isn't it? Put another bird on? We can look. I don't know what. But... Don't know that I will. No, not him. He's too gray. That was a hard no.
I'm not feeling it. Not. Oh, no, him I kind of like. Yeah, let's do him and then we'll decide. Do I want another piece of tissue paper? This is actual tissue paper. It has a gold pattern on it, but I'm going to glue it on upside down so the gold is a little more subdued. guy up. Put two matchy ones on there, one under the other. Here's the pin. I was looking for the pin. Okay. <laughs> so I, you know, I could, I could carry on and, you know, do a little stamp on each page or something just to give it a little color. I'm not going to. And I want to make sure, oh, we missed one. How did that happen? Okay. 
as I was saying, I want to make sure that the, the, um, what do you call them? The tabs are in order. And this is a rusty uh, um, garment pin, uh, or light bulb pin, bulb pin, light bulb pin. And if I wanted to, I could add a little charm there, maybe a little bead. So this is kind of cute. Um, so the idea being that you could just, you know, this is a good place just to keep lists of things. Um, you know, maybe passwords for various websites. And you can keep this on your desk. Or... Um, frequently used phone numbers or addresses. I don't know. Um, it could be put into a journal. It's a little thick, but I guess the possibilities there. Be kind of cute if I could find some snippets to put there as as labels, eh? Anyway, um, I hope you thought this was interesting. And uh, come back. We'll do something fun next time. Take care.